Hey guys, Pixie here, and uh, today I'm going to do an episode of my Let's Play! Yay! Uh, it's been a while, um, because I've been f focusing on things like the Littlest Pixie and the Sunday Seed and Spiral Nights and stuff. And the Let's Play world really hasn't been drawing my attention. So I've been thinking about this, and what I've decided to do uh, is a sort of compromise between showing you a regular series that has continuation and doing something that I enjoy. Um, and I don't really enjoy playing in the same world for ages and ages. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is show you what I've been working on in my single player when I play. Um, so I might show you a few episodes in one world and then I'll I'll be playing on another world and I'll switch to that one and show you what I've been doing. Uh, what that does mean is that you'll get to see my different types of build style. I um, might give you some ideas. Uh, yeah. So this is what I've been doing over the weekend. Uh, I haven't played any proper single player Minecraft in ages. And I had the urge over the weekend. So this is my little house. So the sun is just going down. And I, I have John Smith's texture pack on. I really like it. Apart from, as somebody pointed out on my... Um, Littlest Pixie video, the sun and the moon around. I, I really don't like when texture packs change the squareness of the game. <laughs> um, my two pet peeves with texture packs are firstly when they make the sun and moon round and secondly when they change creepers. Some texture packs like to make creepers a different colour and stuff and I don't like that. To me that, that's not preserving the true essence of Minecraft. There, is, there are some things in Minecraft that are sacred. <laughs> so uh, anyway, see if I can, yeah I can sleep so turn into daytime. Here we go. So this is my bedroom. And for those of you who may possibly not know, in order to respawn at your bed after you sleep there, you need one free block of space all the way around. Um, and this is a pumpkin, by the way. I don't know why, but this texture pack doesn't have the face on the jack-o'-lanterns when there's a torch inside. But this this is a, a jack-o'-lantern with a torch inside. Um, but it, it's, it's a nice light. It makes it sort of crappy jack-o'-lantern but a very nice wall light. Uh, I got another one there and another one there. Um, and and these this, these two grates and these pots and pans, these are actually paintings which I think is really cool. Uh, whoever made the John Smith texture pack, maybe it was Mr. John Smith himself, did some really awesome things with the paintings. Like These, these banners are paintings. The shield's a painting. Uh, this strip is a painting and I really like them. So I'll show you outside. I've got my little farm. Somebody's been trampling my little farm. Let's uh, retill this and put my seed back. There we go. So this pool is one of those little watering hole type things you find um, from place to place. And I just, uh, I dug in, there was a little overhang, I dug in over the overhang, and I like building next to the... So I should probably turn stuff down, I forget when I'm playing, I turn it up, and there we go. I like building next to these, because you've instantly got a source of fresh water for, for things like your farm. Actually, I know how I can fix this. Let's fix this right now. And I should probably go up top to do it. Um, and there were some reeds here as well, so I've uh, expanded on the reeds a bit. So if I build... I think they're getting trampled because things are falling down on them. So if I build a little overhang, then that'll hopefully fix some of that problem. One more. And it'll grass over at the top and uh, look pretty. I hope. There we go. So this is my little house from the top. I've got a little piggy swimming pool there. Uh, this fence up here. Uh, I have more fence inside my house. I should probably fence off that edge too. Stop things falling down. The spiders still climb over fences, which I think is highly unfair. 
if nothing else can climb over fences, then it wasn't that like the whole point of fences is that mobs can't climb over them. So I, th I think that I think not should change that for fairness sake. Okay, that's uh, I'm gonna run out of fence here. Never mind, I'll build some more. I have my very own lava pool up top. This is natural. Uh, at some point, I'll maybe obsidianify it. And there's some coal there, but I didn't dig it out because, you know, perilous. Peril. Uh, let me grab some more wood. I do think I need some. Um, the seed for this will is a uh, texture pack of joy. All one word, all lowercase. The starting area was... Uh, interesting because it didn't have much there there were no trees there at all i had to run a fair way to find some trees so you can probably hear my cat in the background making some crazy noises there um and the map as a whole didn't have uh, many trees in this area so i've been planting some and my uh, forestation of this this area is going uh, pretty well there's the other tree, here we go. And I just need to be careful that I don't plant too close to the lava pool. Because then bad things will happen. Bad things. Let's build a... Put a tree there. Lots of saplings. I should replace this one. Uh, about there, I think. Let's put some more down here. There we go. Um, but other than the uh, lack of trees, it's a fairly decent seed. It's pretty flat, pretty barrenish, but it was it was a nice, interesting. Hey, chicken! Interesting challenge. I've walled off this side of my house with cacti, so it's a bit more difficult for things to get through. And occasionally I get some uh, free pig meat. Uh, it's pig meat, not pygmies. So I'll show you what else I'm doing. You've probably noticed this big path up here. I went exploring. Um... Oh, there we go, that's better. Apart from this oops, stupid one in the corner right here. There we go. Um, I went exploring to try and find a nice natural cavern to start digging out, and I found one. And it's directly across that way. So what I've been doing is making me a path there. Sun's good. Okay. Um, these, this sandy bit is a natural bit that the path crossed, and I kind of like it like that. And around here, hopefully this will all grass over eventually. It's uh, getting there, it's creeping down slowly. Creep, creep, creep. And I've got some mine track in my inventory um, that I haven't laid down yet. I wanted to finish the wall first and decide what I was doing with the wall. It has to be relatively monster proof, but I don't care if it's not 100% monster proof because Part of the fun. Okay, so it gets to here. And it'll eventually come up this way. I'm not sure also how I'm going to carry the mine cart, mine truck out. Uh, so this was the entrance that I just walled it over to make it safer. And this is my mine. And I've been clearing out. I've been very good with clearing it out, actually. Um, different to what I usually do, I've been doing it in sections. So I'd, I went through, I walled off all the unsafe sections and left one empty. And like this one, I started with this. Dug it all through, right down to the bottom. And it just ends there. And I've still got, I've got a lot more exploring to do down here. I think I've done the uh, the basics of it. And I'm also not entirely sure that it's well lit enough to be safe. But uh, anyway, there's a big cavern 
down there. Am I in peaceful? I shouldn't be. No, normal. And uh, where's the other one? This comes back around to the beginning. Oh, I know where it is. Confusion. Here we go, down here. Clear this bit out. And there's a bit through there that I haven't properly explored yet. And another bit under here, if I knock this out. There, big cavern under there. So, the sun was on its way to going down when I came in here, so what I think I'll do is some exploring. But I'll need my sword. I also don't have many picks. Okay, this head back up to the top. You know what? I don't really need to go up the top. I should put a workbench down here. Don't need four wood. I shouldn't skive on resources. There we go. Un, deux, trois, quatre. You can live there. Steaks. Give steaks blocks. There we go. And they can move. Stone pick. Uh, pick and uh, make one more pick. Got two shovels, that's fine. Bunch of sticks. Okay. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is that uh, my videos are probably going to be a little bit short for a while. Uh, this is because my PC at the moment. Uh, it's okay, but it's not phantasmagorical. And uh, usually when I do a 10-15 minute video, it takes me a, a, quite a while to render. Uh, using Camtasia, first I have to sit through it. Oops, Daisy. Okay. Explaining stuff and fighting at the same time equals fail. I ran out of torches, and then I was like, I can't fight him because I ran out of torches. And, uh, you know, forgetting I had a sword. So anyway, um, yeah, after I finish recording with Camtasia, I have to wait for it to process and show me a preview. After showing me the preview, I have to hit save and edit, and then wait for it to render into the preview, into the editing window, which takes the same amount of time again. And then I have to, you know, process it and squish it and stuff and render it properly. And that takes a while. And then I have to wait for it to upload to YouTube. That's the killer. Um, 150, 200 meg video for me uploading to YouTube takes hour and a half, two hours. It's horrible. Our upload speed here is really capped. Um, but that way it's not so bad because I can just, you know, set the video to upload and leave it to go but uh it's it's the whole rendering thing that kills me because uh i can't really do anything else on the pc while i'm rendering them they're falling from up there um anyway there is a happy ending to this story and the happy ending is that very soon i'll be getting a pc upgrade very soon like uh within a week or two and I'm switching to a quad-core processor, lots of RAM, a new motherboard, all sorts of lovely, lovely stuff. So this is, oh, this is the same side, and I think actually this leads down to the one underneath the other place I was digging out. I can use zombies. There's some iron. I split there. Let's go this way. Uh, so yeah, the uh, too long didn't read version is that PC suck, videos short, 
PC get better soon. Videos get longer. There. Oh, hey. And also a lot of you are probably noticing that I'm using the mouse wheel instead of uh, numbers and it's hampering my fighting. I know, but I like using the mouse wheel. And I'm not really a hardcore player. I don't care if I die because I'm using the mouse wheel instead of the n numbers. So, there. Okay. I'm probably hearing outside nighttime zombie noises. But let's go down here because I think possibly maybe the other branch. Where did it go? Oh, I was on the other branch. Oops. Okay, fine. Let's go through and do that one then. Something shooting arrows. So that section, not entirely safe. This section. Hey dude, you can't really reach me from there, can you? Interesting. So this uh, is very surfacey. This whole part and the big uh, cave of despair down there. Doom cavern and some pretty flowers. What dungeon is complete without pretty flowers? I ask you. And this bit is interesting. Big flat wall. And that bit there, I would imagine, goes up towards the surface, or maybe it just ends. No, oh, it just ends. Okay. And there was one other bit of cave down this way. I hope this goes way down to down, down, down below. Because I need some gold for my... Uh, tracks and stuff. This is I and this stuff. Okay, this is, yeah, underneath where I was building. And if this doesn't go all the way down, I'm going to be disappointed. Where'd you go? Dude? Come on, you're being... Oh, fun. I hit him through the wall. You just check, he's dead. Yeah. Mm hmm. What the fall? Lots of iron down here. Mm hmm. I believe Minecraft just tried to tell me that I found a cavern. You reckon? Because, yeah, you know, thanks for telling me. I wasn't too sure. Food sounds like a good idea at this point. Okay. And, uh,. Very dark up here, and it's going upwards. Does it go to the surface? 
maybe. No, I do see light over there. Oh. I reckon I just found me a larva pit. Torches, I need more of them. Lots more. Let's make a stack because I'm not exactly short of coal here. There we go. Oh, that's a dodgy area. Hey, guys. Hello. Are you peeking at me? Where'd the other one go? Oh. <laughs> um... Okay, there's two things I possibly see going on here. The first one is dungeon, the second one is... No, no diamond. I thought maybe I saw diamond, but I didn't. It was just a dungeon. Oh! Okay, let's see if I can get up here. And uh, shed some light on the situation. Okay. So far, so good. That's very square. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, I think I have my work cut out here for me with regards to tidying this place up and making it safe. But that's fine. I'm okay with that. So there's a dungeon down there. Let's head back down. It's not too bright in this corner. Let's fix that. And I did really plan on keeping this video short, but that kind of hasn't happened. How come there's a torch right there? Hold on. Maybe I'm being stupid. Maybe it's not a dungeon, but is in fact somewhere I've already been and and built. Because there's a torch there. I don't understand. Okay. Um. This isn't really working as steps. Let's try this side without falling down, ideally. Okay, it's this bit. Ah, so it goes all the way around. Okay. Well, that's both boring and relieving. Okay, I uh, think then that is me done for this little video. 
Um, this isn't still safe. Isn't still safe while well, fail. Still isn't safe. So I'll pop that there. And the head back towards the top. And uh, oh yeah, this bit. This bit's crazy in there. I will do that next time. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and I will see you guys later in the week. Oh, um, my channel has had a facelift thanks to Yaku. Um, so if you don't usually go to my channel page, and I don't blame you because I don't usually go to channel front pages either, then you should uh, definitely go and just have a look. Also my website and my Twitter have matching uh, facelifts. My website is welshpixie.com. Just go see and sign up and say hi and stuff. Okay, catch you next time. Bye!